You weren't a fan of the lack of preseason work, were you? No, and good morning, fellas. Hello. Um, I mean, I hope it doesn't come back to hurt them, right? I mean, we all hope for that. I, I mean, I hope I'm sitting here with egg on my face on Sunday night doing the postgame show on the fan. Uh, You're not you know. really, because when you make a prediction, you actually <laughs> you hope your prediction hits. You actually hope that I they I heard can... one of your rants, and you said, you, you, you have your I told you so ready. Right. Let's well, put that way. I mean, listen, we all have our I told you so's ready, right? We all want to be right. We all want to look good ultimately in the end. But I hope in a way that I'm wrong and that everybody can yell at me and be mad at me and say, see, I told you Bruce Allen and Jay Gruden knew better than you, you dumbass. I mean, and they probably do. Uh, the bottom line is, is I don't know how anybody can be ready throwing the ball 14 times in games because, you know, but, but, but there's so many different schools of thoughts. I, I mean, I, you know, we know what Jay Gruden is, right? Uh, I, and I, I lovingly call it, lovingly might be a, a weird word, Club J, right? Okay. That means soft. That, that means easy, kind of just coasting along like your hair's not on fire. We all, a lot of us feel very differently, like they need to play more. You look at what, again, Alex Smith did, just Alex Smith alone, under Andy Reid in Kansas City. I mean, just last year in year five together, he threw the ball 33 times. Again, that's just one player that's just but more than double the work and played in one more game. Again, they started off 5-0. and They started off kicking everybody's butt, uh, including the season opener last year, a year ago, from what we're going to see tonight in Foxborough, where they rolled up 42 points and he threw for over 350 yards. To me, that's what I hope doesn't come back to hurt the Redskins, because as we all know, guys, right, this these first two games, even though this game is far, far, far from easy, games are probably going to make a big difference as to whether this team is a playoff contender or whether they're just an average eight and eight type team rooster jordan reed's missed games in his career so far seven five two four and ten yeah is there a way that he finally shakes that label and plays in 15 or 16 games in 2018 or is that is that crazy to think that he's going to be there for that many games gotta see it cakes Got to see it. I mean, you know, I, 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 I'd I, love to believe it. I I hope. Um, when I last talked to him a couple of weeks ago, he was like, uh, you know, like, I'll be ready for week one. But he's like, I'm still thinking about it. It's still in the back of my mind. He's like, I'm still like, you know, I don't know if I can completely cut it loose until I do it. And, again, this goes back to the whole theory of – and Jay, during Pete's update, right, played – this cut, you know, I, I think they're physically ready. You know, they, they're physically ready. I know they're mentally ready. Well, you can be uh, – Mike Shanahan used to tell Grant and I and other reporters this all the time, right? There's good cardio shape. There's, you know, good athletic shape. Uh, but then there's football shape. I don't know what kind of football shape Jordan Reed is in, right? Mm -hmm. He has not played since early last year. He has not played a full game. He's certainly going to be on a snap count, a pitch count, whatever you want to label it as, right, just for week one and I would assume early in the season. But then on top of the foot injury. Do we know that? We know that for a fact? Well, I don't know that for a fact, but, I mean, Jay essentially has said that. I've heard that about Adrian Peterson, Jordan Reed, and Chris Thompson. Uh, but it may makes sense, right? How do you throw a guy in there for 60 snaps when he hasn't played since early last year? He's got an injury history, and you have Vernon Davis and mm -hmm. Jeremy Spring. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. He's calling him Sprink. He's like, oh, he had a phenomenal preseason. I hope I hope it's true. I hope it's the case. I haven't seen it, but I hope it's true, and I hope it's the case. Um, the bottom line is, is you have to do everything you can to protect Jordan Reed, and even if you do, I don't know. I don't know how you do that. To me, the best way I would do it is only use Jordan Reed, um, or I, I should say primarily use Jordan Reed in the red zone because that's where he can be most effective and that's where he's the difference maker on this team. Uh, you know, I'm uh, kind of disappointed that I didn't get to see more of, you know, the studs in the preseason, but I do understand where Jay was coming from, right? He's obviously trying sure. to get these guys healthy. They lose guys. Um, Thompson coming back from, you know, a really tough injury. Uh, you don't want to risk losing him anymore. Sure. So uh, that's all behind us. I, I understand why we are where we are. At this point, as a fan of this football team, mm -hmm. I just am just excited to sort of unwrap the gifts. I mean, 
How many times last year did we? I mean, first of all, you got the new quarterback, but a, you know, a proven vet who's accomplished a lot in this league, yep. who's a proven winner. I, I can't wait to see what he can do with. Listen, this team I don't think is going to do that well based on their record, but they've got a lot of weapons when they healthy do. on offense, and they're, I can't wait to see how it all comes together. No, there's no doubt, and 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 I am. At, I mean, I know it doesn't sound like I'm excited. I am intrigued more than excited, but for along the same lines as you. If they can keep Jordan Reed healthy, if Chris Thompson can stay healthy, we know what kind of first nine, ten games he had last year, right? We already know they lost Geis, but at least right now they have Adrian Peterson, and, uh, you know, right now the offensive line is healthy, even Laval, who makes a big difference, not in pass pro, run block. Um, Paul Richardson, I, I think that's going to be ultimately the X factor in this offense, um, because he gives them what Deshaun used to give them without being as good as Deshaun. I mean, right. he's he's not there. I'm, I'm not trying to compare him to Deshaun. But he has a lot of the same skill set and a lot of the same capability and impact that Deshaun has.